Welcome to Classic Game Room Broadcasting from the Intergalactic Space Arcade, where it's time to destroy the Invid in Robotech Invasion. Robotech fans know the music, but you may not be familiar with the game Robotech Invasion from 2004 for the PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox. A Robotech first-person shooter that has you playing a character named Locke who was abducted by the Invid and sent back. Are you man or not man? That's what you're there to find out as you slaughter thousands and thousands of Invid. From developer Vicious Cycle, who you may know from such other games as Robotech, Battle Cry, Earth Defense Force Armageddon, and Ben 10 Alien Force, and Ben 10 Galactic Racing. Robotech Invasion plays pretty well for a game that's not one of the premier big budget first person shooter series. It's a bit dark and murky, and there's only about five different kinds of enemies, but even though the third series of Robotech, the new generation, was by far the weakest of the three, you've gotta love the Cyclone. Which isn't used as well as it could have been in this game, it's mostly shooting with some occasional riding sequences. But it's still Robotech, and it's still fun to blow up the Invid. As I was playing this, I watched a couple episodes out of the Robotech Protoculture collection of DVDs just to refresh my memory on the new generation, which I always liked visually but thought the story was ridiculous. Watching some of it again confirms that, and wow, Marlene sounds a lot like Lisa Hayes. Hmm. Most Robotech fans know by now that the entire series of Robotech was three different anime which were rewritten and overdubbed in English for the Western market, and while I think they did a pretty good job with Macross, and even uh, Southern Cross to some degree, it seems like they definitely struggled with the new generation. Like fitting a square peg into a round hole, the story barely fits the visuals. And doesn't make much sense anyway for what's supposed to be a climactic ending. To be honest, the books were a lot better. How can the Invid be the most dreaded alien force in the universe if they're dumb as bricks? Okay, so Robotech has its flaws, everyone knows that, like Min Mei's singing, the reason Fast Forward exists. But I'm pleased and frankly surprised to see that this game exists, because when most people think of Robotech, they think of the Macross saga with Veritech fighters, Rick Hunter, the SDF-1, and all that good stuff. Not the Invid. Who have enslaved humanity, mining protoculture, or whatever they do. And you're there to save them in this game, except... You might be an invid, who can say? This is the end. Leave you now. It's probably an average game at best, but enjoyable if you're into Robotech. The action is decent, albeit a bit repetitive after a while. The controls work well, it's a responsive game on the PlayStation 2, and I like the music. I found the storyline and uncertainty about who you are compelling enough to keep you playing, although the dialogue is laughable, and I'm not sure it was meant to be. The tunnel haven't returned yet. The tunnel leads straight under the mountains, right to reflex point. What if the Invid attacked them? So, the old man sent you, huh? Yeah, I can fix your cyclone real good. Turbo boosters are my specialty. Man, somebody should have checked the script for grammar. Originally, this would have had online multiplayer that may still work over LAN, I wasn't able to test that. But the single player campaign is a decent length, and fun if you're a Robotech fan. I'm not sure I would recommend this to people who aren't. This world is no longer suitable for our continued existence. We will travel the universe in search of a new home. If things like the Cyclone, Alpha, Fighter, and Reflex Point mean anything to you, and you can find this game for a couple bucks, you might enjoy it. For what it's worth, I think it plays better than Robotech Battlecry, although it's not as good-looking or colorful. 
It's a more consistent game. It's Robotech Invasion. Show the invid who's boss and hang on until Rick Hunter finally returns, which I'm still waiting for, by the way. Would somebody uh, please remake Robotech Sentinels for all the kids who grew up with this stuff? And check this out, what I found lurking in the corner over here. I always wanted my very own alpha fighter. How do I hijack this thing?